A man murdered in Philadelphia's Germantown neighborhood. Police say he may have been baited by an ad on Craigslist. Tonight, somebody is under arrest, and it's not the first time they've been in trouble with the law. Fox 29's Dave Kenton is live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters tonight with new developments. Dave. Yeah, Joyce, police have identified the suspect as 23-year-old Thomas Coffey of Willow Grove. Police say he's been arrested and charged with murder. He's also facing weapons offenses as well. Police believe robbery may have been the motive in this whole case, and news of the suspect's arrest has shaken up his neighborhood. Two SWAT teams that came in and um, they surrounded the house. Witnesses say this Willow Grove house was surrounded by police on Saturday. We had to all go in the house and um, uh, that just doesn't happen around here, you know, so... They ordered you inside? They said everybody stay inside? Everybody had to stay inside, yes. It's the home of Thomas Coffey. He was arrested and charged with killing Danny Cook of South Jersey. Police say it all happened Friday night when Cook came to Walnut Lane in northwest Philadelphia to answer an ad on Craigslist listing an ATV for sale. Police say he went to look at the four-wheeler when... Boom, boom, boom. Somebody said, yelled out, oh, they shot. Danny. Cook was shot in the face and later died. Police checked surveillance tape near the crime scene. They got their suspect the next day and examined the family's house. Uh, they took some stuff out of there, you know, whatever they were looking for. Fox 29 learned 23-year-old Coffee has an extensive criminal history with charges relating to firearms possession and robbery inflicting serious bodily harm. Neighbors reported seeing police at the home a few times in the past but are shocked to hear he's accused of murder. They don't expect something like this close to home. that Coffee was arrested for simple assault and burglary in the past. And sources tell us he also did some time for some crimes. Now, police did interview the girlfriend of the victim as well that traveled with him to check out the ATV. The ATV. But those that knew Daniel Cook were too emotional to actually talk with us on camera tonight. Live at police headquarters, Dave Kinchin, Fox 29 News. Thank you, Dave.